I'm Manji. I'm doing biology, chemistry and maths here too. Um, I, at the outset I, I knew that I wanted to do medicine so I, I chose the options that matched them. So chemistry, biology you have to do, and maths complements and birth. So, and I enjoyed maths anyway from GCSE so that's why I chose them through. What is it that the yeast uses to convert the pyruvate to ethanol? Does that ring any bells, Manji? Um, is it reduced NAD? It uses reduced NAD. Can you give us a little bit more? I really enjoyed the lesson and I think that made me want to do better in uh, biology. It's probably the most like, widely applicable. It's, it's probably the most fun as well and uh, you get to cover topics in a lot more detail than what you used to in GCSE and it's quite interesting the questions that you end up asking and the answers that you get for them questions. What did we say, what classification group did we say we would put it in? Is it an animal? I'm looking to apply for medicine. Um, the UCAS application has got to be off in a couple of days, so I've more or less done with that. The two options that I know I'm definitely going to apply to are um, Manchester and Hulliot Medical School, and uh, the other two I'm sort of still researching where I could go. I've got good, like, a good idea of where I'm going to apply, but they're still pretty flexible. The main source of interview preparation is probably going to be at college. They, I've joined the Medical Society, so um, you get to do practice interviews and you get to go over um, a lot of commonly asked interview questions. So that's probably going to be the main source of interview, uh, interview practice. And then outside of that, I'm going to be reading books like anything. So.